A successful hibiscus plant air layering requires a few easy steps that you can also do after watching this video. I will show you the whole process, so keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Air layering is a technique in which we enforce the hibiscus plant to grow roots from the middle of a growing stem, and after the rooting we can cut off the upper branch and plant it separately. Hope you got the idea. Hibiscus plant air layering is an easy and simple technique, and let the hibiscus plant to be multiplied without any risk of failure. But it is very important to follow up these steps. So let's know about them. The most important thing in hibiscus plant air layering is the right seasoning. It is always important to do any type of propagation within the season. Hibiscus plant doesn't grow all around the year, and air layering may not work in the dormancy time. So it is important to follow up the right season. So the best time to air layer hibiscus plant is in its growing season, means you can do all of this in the summer season. And air layering will go just perfect, if you do this in the rainy days. The another important thing is your soil mix. That makes the hibiscus air layering successful. First of all we have to make a good soil mix, which wouldn't cause branch rotting. Too much water holding soil mix don't let the roots to grow, therefore we have to use a good soil mix. A well-draining, loose and soft soil mix works really well. You don't need any fertilizer in the soil, therefore you can use a part of cocoa peat and perlite mixed with one another. Otherwise ready to use soil mix is in the description box. Make the soil moist, it's only a one-time watering, so don't add too much moisture. Selection of branch is also important in hibiscus air layering. The thumb rule is to choose a semi-hard wood cutting that is slightly flexible. Don't choose a thin branch, a pencil's thickness branch works just perfect. Now the most sensitive step comes, that is to make cuts. For a successful hibiscus air layering, you should always choose a disinfected cutter or a sharp blade. Just remove the leaves from the branch, and make two round cuts, at least one inch apart. Make a straight cut and remove the upper skin of the stem. While holding blade, move it very carefully and gently. Don't make too much deeper cuts. You have to make the white, woody stem to be visible. Remove any green material by scratching. Now you have to wrap the soil around the cut. Before that, you can apply a rooting hormone, or just use an aloe vera leaf as your rooting hormone. Cover the soil with a plastic wrap and tie it tightly. Make sure your soil is covering the whole branch. Just keep the plant as normal as it's before, you don't have to do anything. If your plant is growing fast, the roots will come quickly. For that, you can follow up hibiscus plant care video added in the description box. So it's about 34th day of our hibiscus plant air layering and now the roots are coming up. You can wait for further growth of roots, but I am doing all of this in the late summers, and after a few days, our hibiscus plant will be dormant, so it's the right time to put this branch in a new pot. So for that, cut the branch with a clean cutter just below the plastic wrap. After removing the plastic wrap, you have to soak the roots in the water for 10 to 15 minutes. Till that, prepare your new pot with a good soil mix. The last thing is to put this newly propagated hibiscus plant in the soil and cover it. Give it a frequent watering, put this container in a shade for a few days, as you find new growth move it back to a sunny spot. These leaves will turns yellow and fells off, that is a totally normal thing. After a few days IL, it will be alright. So it's all about hibiscus plant air layering technique. For any question leave a comment below, and follow up this video, for a complete guide on hibiscus plant care. 